Because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's what we're seeing on the news, day in and day out. Come on. I will call together all the king of the earth. What y'all have to see, what you see happening in Syria and Iraq, is what we're reading here. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth. Come on. To reverence me. Uh-huh. Which are from the rising of the sun. Go ahead. From the south, from the east, and Libanus. Libanus is Lebanon. To turn themselves one against another. So God's plan, his program, is to have these nations fight each other. Let's say it again. God's plan is to have these nations fight each other. Read. And repay the things. Listen good to this. And repay the things that they have done to them. Write this down. To them is the Israelites. Everything that you see in the news is a, a direct judgment for what the nations did to the blacks and the Latinos and the Native American Indians. We are the Israelites. It is going to say it crystal clear. Read. Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. So what you see happen to Trayvon Martin, what you saw happen to Michael Brown, Kajim Powell, the most I said, I'm not, I'm not sleep on none of that. I see all the injustice. Gladness of heart. How you doing, my sister? What's your name? Crystal. Crystal. My name is Sol Josephus. We are the Israelites quote to the Bible. That's right. Have you ever seen anything like this before? What have you heard? Michael, what? Who you truly are, according to the Bible? Do you want to take me on? Michael, you want to take me on? Because I got problems. Hey, what about you? You standing up like you soldiers. I had a black man come to me and say, "Oh, another black woman disrespecting me." He said, "What?" As Mother Earth disrespecting me as Mother. You want me to care about black lives? Well, black lives need to care about themselves. They need to care about themselves. Calm down. Listen up real quick. This is why we go through the things we go through. This is what the Most High told Moses to tell the so-called blacks, especially Americans. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. You know? But it shall come to pass. He's saying in the future, this will happen to your people. I know what he's saying. I'm not stupid. So just listen. Listen. If thou will not hearken, Unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. If we do not listen to God to observe to do all his ca His commandments, statutes and laws, that what will happen? Why and his statutes which I command thee this point? day, that all these curses shall Who come upon thee and overtake you. My sister Crystal, what? that hey. all these curses will come oh, upon man. us and overtake you. The oh, way you're explaining to me what happens to you man. is because we are a cursed people. Our people don't see each other her, as righteous people. That's why they said that. that to you. And That's you why they treat you this way. Because That's why I said before. No. My sister, what come about, up here. Crystal, what about down, the black woman? My sister, come up here. Check we this black. Out. What's your name, we all sister? black. And when black people What's start that? taking care of black people. Carmen, Sister Carmen, it's have you ever heard of this before? It's of you Chicago. being a so-called Israelite according people. to the Bible? They kill people in Chicago. Do you understand that black our history is recorded people. in the Bible? And everything we see today in this life takes place. That's why our sister person, right here is so aggravated because these curses are upon us that we don't understand. We see this as everyday life, but we don't understand that this is prophecy prophesied to happen to us. Undereducating our children. Stop these Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. You know? Stop but single it shall come parents. to pass. No, if thou you will not hearken unto the endowed. voice of the Lord you thy God to observe to do all his Stand commandments up. and his Don't statutes, disrespect me as which a black I command woman. thee this day, Don't dis that I all am these earth. curses shall come upon thee. Man and needs an evolution. This is that nice Man and needs a revolution towards the evolution of God's humanity. Commands, not as a religion. It is not black Sister Crystal, life. calm down. This is Crystal listening for you too. It is if we do not calm down, uh, Carmen, humanity and listen to the Lord's yeah. commandments, humanity not religion, not Baptist, not Pentecostal, we need to do God's laws. Calm down, sir. God is telling humanity to get your shit together. Who is that? Stop killing each other. I don't care what color you are. I agree with her. Listen, listen. Calm down, sir. That white man put his knee on that black man's head. It didn't hey, matter if it was black or white. I agree it took it another man's life. Do you this see how our people humanity are upset? Our people are so upset. No, do, you, do, you know, do you know why you're upset, sis? Let me show you why you're upset, sis. Go to, go to Hosea chapter 4. 
Let me show you. Guess what? You know the problem, sis? The problem is you don't know what God wants from you. Oh, I know what God wants. What does He want? Wanted me to come down here and tell you. No, you know what God wants from you? God wants you to repent and keep the laws that He gave you. Read that. Hosea chapter four verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You see that? My people are destroyed. Lack of knowledge. Do you understand that? Like no. Do you know how you're supposed to be treated? Let, let me show you how you're supposed to be treated, sis. Yes. I'm about to show you. As an Israelite princess, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 55. Let me show you something, sis. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 55. Bullshit. So that he will not give to any of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Because he had nothing left in his seed. And in the straight but with thine enemies shall depress thee in Stop all thy it. gates. Know it. Thy, it. The know tender it. and delicate woman among you. Wait Stop a minute. Know the it. Bible just said the it. tender it. and read delicate it. woman you among up. you. you want me Do you understand what the Bible says? Do you understand the what the Bible says? Tender and Do delicate woman. Now let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Are you being a tender you, and delicate woman you? right now? Let me show you. Read. Women can the speak tender too. and delicate woman among you, which too. would not adventure to like set the sole of her we foot upon the like ground. You, you see how precious the Israelite woman is? She wouldn't even adventure to set her foot on the ground. For you? That's how oh, precious and delicate oh our sisters are. You ought to be and ought to be treated. That's, right. That's how us earth. as Israelite men treat Nothing. our women. Precious and delicate. That's why when you look shit. at the movies, they show an Egyptian shit. woman being carried. But really, about. that's a depiction I'm, of I'm, the Israelite I'm, woman because read it again. Yes, yeah, sister, I'm talking to you. This is how precious you are. Read which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground. Our women are so tender and delicate, they wouldn't even adventure to set their foot on the ground. Read. But what has happened to our tender and delicate women? Read. For delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband. But this is what has happened to our women. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her. Now the sister eye is evil towards the Israelite man. Toward the husband of her bosom. And toward her son. And toward her daughter. Now her mind, now her attitude is mad at the Israelite man. You know why she is mad man. at the Israelite man? Speak for me. Because the Israelite man is not standing up for her. Bring it out. Now she is upset you know for me because of her oppression. That's why you are upset. I'm going away. No, I want you to stay right here and listen. Hell yeah, I'm gonna stay right I want you to stay right here and listen. You know why? Because you're tired of oppression. That's right. You're upset over the oppression you live in. But do you know why you live in it? But do you know why you live in it? Go to Deuteronomy 28. Let's go back to what the soldier was trying to teach you. This is why you're upset. Or you going to die. Hey, is this your book? You're going to be extinct. Yeah. You do not fix your shit. Uh, All right. If this is your book, don't throw it on our stuff. Turn it up. Because if you throw it on our stuff, it becomes our possession. You want to attack this You see that? Woman. So don't throw it on our stuff. You All right. Attack this Read. Woman. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To our soul, to do all his commandments. Step up and be we man. have not Real done man. these things. Yeah. Yeah. We have yeah. not yeah. come yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's the problem. Because, I'm black. because you know why? And I need 
We don't understand the salvation that is due to us. The salvation that you so called Natives and Latinos are seeking. That salvation comes from Christ himself. That salvation comes from the Almighty God. And you keeping the commandments of God. When you do not keep the commandments of God, you find yourself in this degenerate state that you find yourselves in right now today. That is the ultimate issue. And guess what? That becomes the ultimate answer. Go to Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. Because this is the issue. Verse 71. You gonna take me down? Really? I've been Luke chapter seven. Excuse me. Luke chapter one, verse seventy-one. That we should be saved from our enemies. That's Do you understand that? Let me ask you a question, sister. You're a bully, just like the rest of us. Sister, let me ask you a question. Do you want to be saved from your enemies? Do you? Asked, oh, I definitely you know want to be saved right? from my enemy. Because I can't speak. Now the question because is, What's the do question? you want to be saved from your enemy? Do you? Oh, I definitely do. Okay, who's your enemy? That's why I'm keeping the Who commandments. Oh, I'm glad you asked Who me that. Your... Who's my enemy? Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Let's read from 46. Let's find who out who my enemy is. I know who your read. enemy is. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Bring it you. And they shall be upon thee. For a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy shield forever, because thou shalt not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with heart So because we choose not to keep the laws of God, read. You keep the laws of For the abundance of all things, verse forty-eight. Here we go. Here's the answer. Verse forty-eight. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Which the Lord shall send like against me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, hey, sister, sister, this what's your name, you sister? You back up. Well, what's your name, sister? You back up. This is my street. You back up. Stand out in the street. You back up. Yeah. What's your name, sister? Yeah. I gave that to you already. Yeah. Yeah. You gave it to her. No, I'm sorry. I was over there busy. Right here. What's your name? Can't never follow you or remember. What's your name? You was talking to this man. You don't remember. You. But now I want yeah. to know. Yeah. Now, so what's, you what's your name? Let me ask you this question. Now I'm talking to you. I okay. want to know. One thing. If I give you my name no, and you go, oh yeah, me. you did give that to me. Don't give me your name. My name is Crystal. Yeah, you never gave it to oh, me. That's God. a mother. All praises. <laughs> Crystal. Crystal. Don't lie to me. I'm, I'm glad that Don't you've told me your name. Because now I want you to hear the answer that you asked. I already know that. So now let's read it again. Let's Your read it plan. again, read. Deuteronomy plan. chapter 28, Your verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Remember when you asked me, asked what's you. my enemy? You did ask me that. Okay. See, that's, what you, see, that's what you did I ask me. Admit. But you never told me name. your name. You told him your name. Right you here. told him your name. So Not me. I was over there and walked up. Dude, I just met you right here. So now, let's find out. Let's find out again. The answer to your question. Read it again for the oh. sister. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Bring it up. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. Now wait, did you hear? Therefore you shall serve your enemies, who the Lord sends against you. So you see these signs, right? You see these signs. You see these signs. Now I gotta ask you who is oppressing the so-called black man, native man, and the child? Who is God? Who is oppressing? Let me ask you a question. 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 No, no. Answer. Remember, you're answering the question. Who is oppressing the people? You. I you, am. Right. When a black man so, walks up so, to Mother right. Earth. So, so you're when saying, a black man so you're saying up to Mother Earth. me, myself. Yes. Yeah. Because you I'm, represent it. I'm you inciting yeah. the rules yeah. of the government. Because you, you're, 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 you're inciting the rules of patriarchy. That's me. And maleness and me. domination. Right. And oh, oh. And you because said you I'm doing that. Been assimilated so, a world so let me ask you a question. And male domination. So are you going to admit this? 
that there is a nation oppressing the people. Are you going to admit that? No. No. Remember, you said, remember, you asked it. I'm answering it. Who is my enemy? You. The Bible says. No. Who is my enemy? Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. No more shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. You see that? My son, not from white. You see that? Black men. Do you hear that? Black men turn Chicago into a tour. Do you see why that? Because Do you know why? You no, you, you it's because we're not keeping you the laws of God. You're not it's listening. Right. Read it again for I the system so she can listen. God, Crystal not. needs to listen. Why don't you? No. Crystal don't want to listen. listen. You know what Crystal hey. wants to do? Why don't you Crystal wants to her. hang on to her oppressor. Why don't you listen to her? Crystal says, my oppressor hasn't done nothing to me. But guess what your foremothers did, Crystal? Your foremothers did. Died not to be with the oppressor. No, that's, that's right. right. Your foremothers took their own they lives not to be with their they oppressor. Right. Right. They, right. they didn't they want to be you. kissed and by their slave master. Right. Crystal right. wants to be kissed by her slave master. Right. But let's find out God's pleasure. You know I love the scripture. Go to Ezra chapter 10. Ezra chapter 10. Let's find out the problem with Crystal. Crystal loves her slave master. That's the problem, Crystal. Read that again. Read that again. You see that? Now she has testified out of her own mouth. Ezra chapter 10, verse 10. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed and have taken strange wives. See, Esther was getting, I mean, Ezra was getting on his people. Because we took strange wives of who? The other nations. And have taken strange wives to increase the trespass of Israel. This is what you so called black, native, and Latino men need to be teaching the younger generation. Not to be taking wives of the other nations to increase the transgression of God. You see that? We are increasing our trespass. We are increasing our iniquity by being with the other nations. Let's find out God's pleasure. Let's get this motherfucker bigger, Mike. Verse 11. Therefore, right, make confession you. unto the I Lord God right. of your fathers uh, and do his pleasure. Watch this. Mic. Now we're about to find out God's pleasure. So for all of you that's listening, find out God's pleasure. And separate yourselves from the people of the land. You're not giving me that much. God's pleasure. Is for us to separate. Separate from who? Again, so Crystal can hear. And separate yourselves from the people of the land. No. Separate yourselves from the people of the land. You see that? But the problem is rebellion is in her heart. Give me First Samuel 15. Rebellion is in her heart. She loves her oppressor. The Bible says separate yourself from the people of the land. She said, hell no. She said, no way. I'm going to stay with my oppressor. Only he can control me. You are my oppressor. Do you believe Christ is black? Do you believe he's white? Or do you believe he's white? Or do you believe? What do you believe? I don't give a motherfuck. This is not about that. This is about humanity. Oh, it's Stop about humanity. killing people. But we God just said separate from the people of the earth. You're not even listening to it's, that it's shit. It's not about the Bible. You're not even listening to that She shit. said, hell You're no. Even, she said, I'm going to stay with my oppressor, my slave master. You speaking for me? Your slave master said, let's go. Read it again. I know what I said. First Samuel. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Yeah, rebellion is in your spirit, sir. Sis, rebellion is in your spirit. The Bible says what? For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Rebellion 
is the sin of witchcraft. That's right. Read it again for the system. The rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Read on. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Stubbornness is as what? Read it again for the system. And for all that's listening. And give me a mic. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. You see that? She said, she said, listen, you black man, you can't control me. Only my slave master can control me. My baby daddy. Only my oppressor can control me. Bring it out. Man, I ain't listening to you. Black man, I'm not listening to you. He said, you know what? Guess what? I can't hear nothing except for my slave master. But now, you so-called black man, you so-called Latino and native, this is what we have produced because we are not keeping the laws of God. So now we walk around with angry women at the black man because the black man has not done his job. We have not stood up in the commandments of God. Now we have fatherless homes. We make our women whores. All we care about is the butt. That's the problem today. We are not making sure that our family is taken care of. So now they believe in their oppressor. Now they move on to their oppressor because we are not standing up teaching them the true word of God. What's the true word of God? What are we supposed to be teaching? Go to Malachi 2. What are we supposed to be teaching our sisters, our children? What are we supposed to be showing them? Oh, I know, sister, you are mad. But guess what? If you don't repent, you're going to die with your oppressor. Matter of fact, drop Malachi. Go to Isaiah 13. Let me show you what the Bible says. Bring it out. Let me show you. And, and I understand. You're upset because you know why? It's our young generation that's walking around killing each other. It's our young generation that's walking around killing each other. And I said our, our, our young generation. That's why you're upset. You see that? You are mad because the black man is killing the black man. You are upset over that. We have really? killed more of us than the white man ever has in the history of America. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 7. Therefore shall all hands be faint. You see what it says? Therefore our hands will be faint. Why? Read. And every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Oh yeah, this day is coming. It's time for the Israelite man, you so-called black native and Latino, to repent and come back to the laws of God. Read. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, that day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. The day of the Lord cometh against all you that refuse to keep the laws of God. Read. To lay the hand, excuse me, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And the sinners will be destroyed out of it. I hope you are paying attention to the words of God. If we do not come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments that God has given us as the Israelites, we will be destroyed out of this land. That's what you see what's going on today. We are in the midst of being destroyed because we refuse the laws of God. That's why Crystal is so upset. Asus used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. 
purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth